Okay, we are ready. If you can't hear me, let me know, please. Thanks for joining um, every Wednesday. My cooking demonstration here. My name is Mona Cabrera, and I'm the registered dietitian of the Lifestyle Program out in Foothill Ranch, Hogue. So um, I got a few people watching. Thank you for joining. If you can't hear me, just let me know. If you guys have any questions, I have um, my phone here so I can see questions in the live chat. Uh, today we are going to be making a, a salad, the beginning of summer, a fresh start, lots of healthy um, ingredients. It's super easy and um, you can meal prep this one day and have salad for four days um, and just ready to go. If you like to meal prep and put it in containers because you're going to work, it would be a grab and go out the door. Um, the thing with um, putting the salad dressing on it, you might just want to add it the day you're going to eat it, otherwise it gets really soft and soggy. So um, we'll be making our fresh um, salad dressing. And um, for that, we'll do that first. So let's get a little bowl. I don't have a whisk, but I'm going to use a little fork here to whisk everything together. So our ingredients are lemon juice, chia seed, Dijon mustard, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper. So you probably already have all this at home, right? And the chia seeds in there, um, good source. Gosh, these tiny little chia seeds, if you haven't been using them yet, it's the seed to get. Um, they really pack a punch. They are a great source of omega-3s, lots of fiber, some protein, um, antioxidants, just so much goodness and such a small seed, these little black and gray things. So we are going to add that to our salad dressing. And um, got a few more people joining. Thank you guys all for joining. I appreciate it. Um, always a fast, easy, healthy recipe because that's what we need in today's society. We are always on the go. So let's start with the dressing. Um, we are going to put um, our mustard. So I got Dijon mustard here, and it calls for two tablespoons. Um, sometimes when I don't want to do, um, like just being lazy, don't want to go through the steps of making a homemade dressing, um, I usually have a tub of hummus at home. And so I'll just add two tablespoons of hummus to my salad for that moisture, maybe a little bit of vinegar if I need it, and that's enough for me. But I really do love this dressing. Um, love the taste of Dijon mustard. And um, so we're gonna do that today. Okay, so now we have the mustard. We do have to add two tablespoons of water. So I have some water in this cup. I'm just gonna put two tablespoons. So we're gonna mix this together. Okay, so then we're gonna just um, mix it together until it emulsifies. Can you guys see that? Just mustard and water. So the dressing only really takes a second to make, but when you don't feel like doing it, there's always other options, right, for that flavor on your salad. Okay, so now we're gonna add the chia seeds, and we only need two tablespoons, so it's two, two, two. And these just really soak up the water. And feel free to put in the chat box any questions that you have, okay? I think everyone's getting used to that chat box because yesterday I had a lot of questions. We did a little talk on beating the sugar cravings. That was yesterday. If you missed it, it's there for you if you want to check it out. So we are just going to whisk this again and then add the lemon juice. So we're going to add some lemon juice. Great source of vitamin C, right? So we just got to keep up our immunity with lots of vitamin C. So we're just whisking this. So you know when you use chia seeds like in, let's say, um, a smoothie, it really adds volume, right? So it absorbs the fluid because of that fiber. So uh, it's going to do a similar thing here. Okay, let's add some lemon. I have a fresh lemon here. Use, um, if you want to buy one that's already made for you from the store, use whatever lemon you like, whatever's easiest. And it does call for half a cup. I'm just going to squeeze a whole lemon in there. Um, it'll be plenty. Okay, second half. This is a very juicy 
juicy lemon. So when you're shopping for lemons, do you know how to find that juicy one? <laughs> or your limes? Make sure you touch them and squeeze them, and so they need to be a little soft. Don't buy those hard ones. You'll come home with no juice, right? So get those juicy lemons. And if you have a tree, you're lucky, because, gosh, I use a lot of lemons. They just make everything taste so much better. Okay, now we're going to add some salt and pepper and some olive oil, okay? Um, just a little salt and pepper. I'm just not even going to measure a fourth a teaspoon of salt, just a little bit. And then a little bit of black pepper, one-eighth teaspoon. Okay, and then it calls for a fourth of a cup of um, extra virgin olive oil. I didn't, oh, did I bring it? Yes, I did. Okay, so we got a fourth of a cup right there. We'll add that to our dressing. You can also add less if you like. This is a recipe, so recipes are for you to adjust to your needs. Okay. So we're just going to let this sit, okay? And um, it will become smoother and thicker as it sits. Let me show you up close again. Okay? So we're just going to put this aside. Let's see if there's any questions. Okay, nothing right now. So let's let this sit here. Okay, so the base of this salad is kale. I like to keep things really simple, but if you like to wash and cut, you do that part if you've got a lot of time. But um, for sake of you know busy people, working moms, moms in general, somebody that doesn't want to spend too much time in the kitchen, you can rely on your bags. So I just got an organic shredded kale, triple wash, ready to go. So open that up. It calls for four cups of kale and um, thinly sliced, and that's what this is. Um, if you don't like kale, let's say, you can adjust this recipe. Use um, spinach, you know, instead. I like to massage my kale a little bit so it's a little softer. And um, we'll do that here. And you can see I eyeball a lot of things. Um, it's not that important to measure it out if um, you know what four cups looks like. And it doesn't have to be exact, right? The more the better. So you do that with your kale, whatever greens you want to use. Um, So this recipe has a lot of cruciferous veggies. We got broccoli, we got um, some red cabbage. We have um, what would really good go good in this also is sh um, some Brussels sprouts, shredded Brussels sprouts. I looked at them today in the store and they just looked brown, so I didn't buy any. But it's definitely a good one to add. So, we got our massaged kale here in a big bowl. Okay. So now we are going to add two shredded carrots. So I got some here. So you can buy it already shredded, ready to go, or you can shred it yourself. I'm gonna just do this, super easy. Lots of vitamin A in our carrots, right? For our eye health, lots of fiber. Did you know if you eat a lot of carrots, the bottom of your hands and feet turn orange? That's not a myth. I eat a lot of carrots 
and I have orange hands and orange feet. <laughs> Vitamin A shows through. Okay. So I'm just going to stop shredding just for the sake of time. So it's two carrots shredded. And if you don't want to shred it, again, just buy it already pre shredded. The grocery store really makes it easy for us now to get our vegetables in. Because back in the day, it wasn't already cut and shredded for us. We had to do a little bit more work. So we got some carrots there, OK? And um, I, for the next ingredients for the red cabbage, I didn't want to buy a whole cabbage and start chopping that up. So I just bought this coleslaw package. And it has the green, red, and a little bit of carrots. And so we're going to use that. So for the red cabbage, it calls for two and a half cups. And that's what's in this bag. So we're going to add that. This coleslaw kit actually comes with a dressing in there. I'm going to pull that out. That makes a fun coleslaw. I, with this mixture, sometimes I add like a peanut dressing and make a peanut salad out of it. OK. So this salad is coming nicely together. May I show you? You see that? OK. So you can see how you can make one salad, and it's going to um, last you several days if it's just for you, for one person. And you can grab it to take it to work, add some protein, and that would be your lunch, because it's going to have a lot of healthy fats in it when we're done with it. OK. So. We have uh, the, the broccoli is the last one to add in. So two cups of broccoli. So we're just going to put that in there. I just chopped these up in little florets. The smaller, the better, I think. I don't like big pieces of broccoli in my salad. So we'll make them small. OK, so. Broccoli has been shown to um, decrease blood pressure. It's one of its benefits. There's so many benefits to broccoli, but it does help lower blood pressure. It's um, one of the vegetables that's highest in protein. For one cup, you do get three grams of protein. So um, we do get a little bit from broccoli, so that's great. And you know, all the benefits include like fighting cancer, low, lowering cholesterol, blood pressure, high in fiber, really feeding that healthy gut um, bacteria. So, so many benefits. It's also high in vitamin C, um, B9, um, iron, um, magnesium, a lot of important minerals for bone health. So, um, lots of vitamins. This is just a bowl of vitamins and minerals and fiber, right? So, very healthy. So, now this is our salad. So, what we do at this point, let me add in all this broccoli. We're going to just mix it. Any questions? So far, just really basic, right? All these veggies. And um, a lot of people like to eat a salad every day, but they want variety. And so this is just one salad, but there's so many different varieties out there. Um, and if there's a vegetable in here that you don't you know, prefer to have, just take it out and um, kids really like this because of the broccoli in there. So one of those vegetables that just kids love those little trees, right? OK. So let's look at our dressing, because this is tossed. Look how pretty that is. Lots of colors. Let's see how this is. So if you're going to be um, packing this up for work, you'll put it in your individual um, Tupperwares, glass containers, glass jars, whatever you like to do. And you would add the dressing on the day that you take it to work. Okay? Or um, you can put it at the bottom of your jar if you're doing um, salad in the jar, and it would sit at the bottom. And that way, it doesn't soak up into the salad. OK, so this is our dressing. So we're going to add our dressing. 
And then our toppings for this salad are blueberries. It's always nice to have a little sweetness in our salad. And um, some pumpkin seeds. And some hard healthy fats. I got an avocado, so let's cut that up. This is nice and soft. I hope it's not brown because it's feeling a little too soft. Let's see. You know when it's ripe is when this little uh, end comes off very easily. Let's see what we got. It's always a good day when this is just like a perfect avocado. Tell me what we got here. Ooh, not too bad. One little brown spot, right? So that's a pretty good one. So we're just going to slice it up. So I'm going to serve the salad. So if your salad is going to be your meal, let's say, you need to add some protein. So whatever you have, maybe it's leftover chicken, maybe it's a couple of hard boiled eggs, maybe it's a can of tuna, uh, tofu, maybe you want to add some beans to it. So whatever protein you want to do. So I'm going to serve ourselves in, let's serve some in a plate. Okay, and then we'll add the dressing. So I always order like my dressings on the side at restaurants because they seem to really drench them and I don't like my veggies completely soaked. Plus, it, the calories can add up to 100 to 200 just from a salad dressing. And so I prefer more calories to come from my avocado, which is more filling than a dressing. So we're just going to serve the dressing like that right now. So we'll pretend we're at a restaurant and we're serving ourselves our, our dressing. And then we'll add our toppings of avocado, blueberry, and some nuts. So we're going to drizzle just what we need. OK. Now we're going to put salad, um, some avocado. So I'm going to put a fourth of avocado. Love avocado. Okay, so let's put that on our salad. And um, summertime fruits like peaches go really well in salads, but today we're doing blueberries. Okay, so we got some avocado there. And then we'll put some blueberries on there. And then some pumpkin seeds. So these are just dry roasted, um, no salt. Okay. So let's see what we got for this fresh start salad. Let me show you what that looks like, and then we're going to taste it together. Can you guys see that? Look how beautiful that is. Okay. Okay, let's give it a test, right? That's the best part. Seeing how this taste tastes. Let's get my fork. Okay. Delicious. The blueberries really add a lot. Mmm. It's amazing. Now, would you guys eat this? Maybe it's your side dish, right? Maybe you're serving up with salmon. And um, I would say quinoa would go really well with this, or even quinoa in this salad. So it's very versatile. Um, I love it. A lot of crunch, lots of flavor. The dressing came out really good. Could even put a little bit more than what I put. It can be a little bit more wetness. So that's our mustard, olive oil. And we put a little bit of water, salt and pepper. Um, Dijon mustard, that was. And then our salad basically was kale ready to go. 
chopped up some broccoli, had a little coleslaw with the red and um, green cabbage, added some more carrots, and then we just topped it with a heart healthy fat, our avocado, high in fiber, some juicy blueberries, very high in antioxidants. This whole dish is just speaking antioxidants and a lot of nutrients. And then we had some pumpkin seeds. You can use whatever seeds you like. Change that up if you want nuts or seeds. Um, you can make it slivered almonds would go really well with this or even sunflower seeds. So um, it's very high in fiber. It's going to help our digestion and our healthy gut bacteria. Lots of vitamins and minerals and iron and um, some protein from um, the veggies and our seeds. Um, yes, I am going to add the recipe. There was just a question. I always add the recipe to the page later today, so you'll see it there. Super easy, like you saw me do this, super quick. Meal prep it for the week, and you'll have a salad for at least four days. It makes a lot, and you can even make more. And then just add your dressing as the days go by. And um, having this ready to go is really going to help you increase your vegetables every day. We're all not eating enough vegetables. In general, we need about five to seven servings a day. So if you only get vegetables, let's say at dinner time, but not at breakfast and lunch, you know, we're not eating enough. So um, a salad, especially during summer, it's, it's hot outside, it's very refreshing, and you don't have to do, do a lot of cooking in the, the kitchen and making your house hot. Salads are a great way to make a meal. Just add your protein to it. We got our heart healthy fats. And, and you can add, um, like I said, maybe quinoa to it if you need some more carbs in there. Um, everyone's just an individual. So if you wanted to even add salmon, chicken will go well with this, like I said. So there's a lot of things that you can just change it up and um, make it your own recipe. But I will be posting it. And then um, the other thing about vegetables, Go really easy if you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Everything's washed, shredded for you. Even they have onions now cut up for us. I mean, there's not a vegetable out there that's not ready to go for us in the grocery store. Because that's the number one um, excuse I hear about why we don't eat enough vegetables is they take a lot of work, a lot of time, but it really doesn't. So I just showed you that it doesn't really. So um, any other questions before we wrap it up? This salad is just um, is going to help um, with, like I said, cholesterol, blood pressure, weight management, um, digestion, help fight cancer. There's a lot of um, plant compounds in here that help fight cancer. So um, help with your diabetes. Um, if you have diabetes, uh, cholesterol, help you reduce your cholesterol levels. So. Um, it's a great salad to put in your um, recipe book at home. So no more questions. I don't see any questions here, but a lot of you are on here and joining today. So thanks for joining. Um, if you guys ever want to um, give me any ideas of something that you want to see me cook on this channel, please put it in the comments and we'll consider it. Um, it's every Wednesday here at 2 o'clock. It's always an easy, simple, healthy recipe. Um, just so we can get those in our kitchen and eat healthier. So um, that is about it. Just a quick, quick one today. So thanks for joining. I will be back next Wednesday at 2 o'clock with another healthy recipe. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just hit subscription, the subscription button below, then you'll get some notifications when we're coming on live, and then you can also save them. Um, so if you don't have time to watch it live, you can just save it and then watch it later. So you guys all have a great Wednesday, and I will see you next week. Thanks for joining.